Hello friends, in this video tutorial we are going to see how to integrate admin dashboard template into CodeIgniter 4 project. First thing you have to do, is to go to Google and search for admin LTE. Then click on the first link. Now, we are on official website for admin LTE dashboards. Click on this download button. Then download this version 3.1.0 of admin LTE. Click source code for downloading. Wait for downloading process. Once admin LTE zip file downloaded, extract it on your desired directory. Friends, this is an admin dashboard template we are going to use. We are going to use this template now. Back to your editor and enter php spark serve command in terminal to run our project. Let's navigate development server URL in browser. As you can see, we are on code igniter 4.1.3. And here we have this toolbar that show you how many views, files, routes and events you have on your project. In order to get this toolbar, you have to set CI underscore environment variable to development instead of production. Let's change this to production. As you can see, we don't have toolbar now. I highly recommended you to set this variable to development mode. This will help you to figure out the source of problem we'll have on your coding. Let's create new controller. We will create controller under this controller's directory. Let's see how to make controller in CodeIgniter 4 user guide. Copy this codes. Create new file and rename to usercontroller.php. Paste that copied codes and change this class name to the same of file name. Now, we have now our user controller. Open roots.php file under appconfig directory. Then add new roots group. To create root group, you have to do this. Here we define user as prefix. This is how you can make root name in CodeIgniter 4. I recommended you to use a root name in your project. Let's test this index method. As you can see, we are on user home page. Let's integrate admin LTE template on this page.
add necessary files of admin LTE inside this public directory. Copy and paste the following files into public folder. We are going to use the starter page HTML markup for our dashboard layout. Copy this HTML markup. Back to our project under views folder create new folder and rename to dashboard. Under this, create other folder and rename to layout. Under this layout folder, create new PHP file and rename to dashboard-layout.php. Then paste that copied HTML markup. Back to user controller index method and return view for home page. Now, create this view. Let's test. As you can see, we have the following message from home view file. Let's update this layout. Change this page title as dynamic. Now, render this content section like this. Let's integrate admin layout on this home page. Let's test. As you can see, we have now this layout, but our CSS and JS not linked well. To solve this problem, we have to add base tag on our layout. Let's test. As you can see, we have this beautiful layout now. How to change this page title? On user controller method, we have to define this page title and pass this data on view like this. Let's test. 
As you can see, the title is changed to home. Here we use this root name on href attribute like this. Let's test. As you can see, on bottom left side we have the following home URL include user prefix. Also change this text. Let's update the sidebar menu. Add new profile get root. Let's create this method inside user controller class. Create this view. Now, let's add ref attribute values on each menu link. Let's test. Whoops. We have an error. I forgot s after root here. As you can see, our menus work perfectly. Before continue, let's show you something. Let's make some error on coding. As you can see, we can see error and where problem is located. 
We can see this if we set CI underscore environment variable to development mode. Let's change this to production mode. As you can see, we don't figure out what the problem is when CI underscore environment variable is production mode. That is why I recommended to set this as development mode. Let's correct this problem. Let's add active class to the current route on the side menus. For testing, let's show something. Let's compare these two URLs. As you can see, these two URLs are totally different. One is contains index.php. In order to add active class on certain menu link, we have to make these two URLs to be equal. For that, we have to remove index.php on our URL. Let's add the following condition for active class on each menu link. As you can see, no active class applied on profile menu even if we are on profile page. Let's remove this index.php on URL. Take look on code igniter for user guide for URL. We have this section of removing the index.php on URL. Copy this codes. Then create .ht access file in the root directory of CodeIgniter4 project. And paste copied codes. After this, open app.php file under appconfig directory. Then remove this index.php here. Let's test. As you can see, both URLs are equal now and current menu link is highlighted. So friends, this is how you can integrate admin dashboard template and other template in CodeIgniter 4 project. Thanks for watching this video.